Hello, my name is Ezekiel Willis. Um, I've been a member of this church for over 10 years now. Before I came into this church, things were not good. Um, at a marriage that was failing, um, I was depressed, hopeless, and suicidal. I remember um, getting to a point where I just couldn't bear it anymore, and things just not being satisfying with work or life at home. My wife was going out more often and just being with her friends, spending uh, time with them so much that I would get home from work and she'd be waiting with her friends to leave as soon as I get home. And so I began to drink more and more and more. This is after five, six years of being sober because my mom was dying from drinking. So I thought I was good, but I guess I lied to myself and I figured I could have a drink and just, it would, that's what it would be, just one drink. And before you know it, I'm back to drinking a bottle of tequila every two or three days. I remember uh, when I f had my last breakdown in front of her, I told her I wanted to die, um, but she didn't know how to respond to that. She couldn't comfort me, she had nothing to say. And I believe it was at that point, she just to lost total hope in me and it wasn't the same ever since. She decides one day to leave, to go, to go find her own happiness, to be with other people. Then my mom passed away a month after that. And it was very dark, very dark. I remember having a, a blade to my wrist and wanting to end it. I had tried once before and the cutting was easy and that was, that's what scared me. I knew I didn't deserve to go to hell for this, so I, was, I cried out to God. I told him to take my life, to destroy me, whatever it is he had to do, but I didn't want to live anymore. And so, well, that's what he did. Just not the way I expected. About a month after that, I found myself saved. That's a long story. <laughs> but I'm saved, and um, even after being saved, I still had a desire to die. But going to services, um, being in my word, being in prayer, um, being in ministry, serving, um, it all worked together to strengthen me within and to give me a hope and a peace um, and a healing. You know, after a few months, I noticed one day that, hey, I'm not drinking anymore. I, didn't, I wasn't even trying to stop, and I just did because I was in God's presence, I was in His Word. I, my life was turned over to Him and He was doing the work. After I just followed through with what He had given me, then I was able to look back and know that God was directing my steps and that's what gave me hope. Knowing that He was always there gave me uh, assurance of all that I have, like life, hope, peace, comfort, and it strengthened my faith because all those things were in Him. He was all those things to me. And I would say you can trust in Jesus to be uh, a source of your life. You can trust in Jesus to direct your path, to lead you out of darkness, and you can trust in His love and His strength. I didn't do anything on my own. It was all because of Him. Like, I had given up. I, was, I, I had given up completely. I'm only here because of Him.